I'm Tony Case. This is my wife, Christy. And we have two boys, uh, one 15 and one 13, and Thomas is a student with Reading Success Plus. Thomas has been working directly with Reading Success Plus for almost four years now, and he's just getting ready to complete the program shortly. Um, he was in the third grade, and um, it became apparent that he really wasn't enjoying school as much anymore. He loved kindergarten or preschool, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, were all just wonderful. But when we hit third grade, um, he started to struggle and it became more and more apparent that he wasn't enjoying it anymore and we felt like we needed to get to the root cause of what, what might be causing his struggles. We first uh, went to the school to look for some support and um, we weren't getting very far with that and so we spent um, during that process we started spending more and more time at home kind of evaluating what might be going on and it became apparent that as far as reading is concerned it his reading became more labored and it seemed much more tiring for him and he was avoiding reading at all costs and we went to the school to ask for some support but he wasn't really a child that needed a lot of assistance in the classroom. He wasn't a classic case um, for someone that would need, you know, support. And so we decided we needed to look elsewhere as far as going to ophthalmologists to look into whether or not it was a vision issue, to a psychologist and occupational therapists. We went to a lot of places looking for opinions on what may, might be driving some of the issues that we were seeing. Prior to third grade, Thomas excelled at school and he enjoyed it a lot. Um, it was in third grade when he started having difficulties and that's what brought our attention to that something was going on. Um, and, you know, when we did talk with the school because he had done so well and still was doing well enough, he wasn't really going to be a candidate for getting much support there. So we looked, you know, we did some, you know, investigating at home, watching him read and talking to him about reading and, you know, even what he saw on the page and, um, or what, you know, what struggles he was having with it. And then we decided to go, you know, outside and get some experts opinion on, on his abilities and his vision, uh, which was also a factor. Mm -hmm. And that's what we found out that, um, you know, his issues were, or his struggles were twofold. We did learn he had a vision disability, but we also found out that he did have a dyslexia. And um, one of the keys for getting us on the road to help for him was through Reading Success Plus. And that's primarily because they offered a basic screening. And that gave us kind of the confidence um, that the information that we got through talking to them about what they were seeing through the testing um, in the screening helped us, kind of spurred us on to continue to look for uh, support for him. And that's when we took that next step um, to go ahead and get him an evaluation for dyslexia. And that's when we found out that yes, indeed, he did have dyslexia. And um, the number one recommendation was tutoring, which sent us right back to where we started with the screening as far as going back to Reading Success Plus um, with that diagnosis and saying, okay, let's get him some help. We started with the LIPS program, which was a Linda Mood Bell program that they offered for phonics, which is essentially relearning phonics. And um, then we, that was a really good jumping off point to start the Barton Reading Program. And so it seemed like, you know, just within a few months, we started to see um, his confidence pick up a little bit and his interest in reading pick up a little bit. Certainly his reading levels and the feedback we were getting at school um, you know, help support that what we were doing, uh, or at least we were on the right track as far as the things that we were doing for him. 
I think I immediately, when Thomas started the LIPS program, I think it became apparent that that was something he needed to go through. And that was something that uh, was going to help him build and, and basically start over with reading. Um, so it became apparent to me very quickly that there was a, something that needed to be addressed there mm -hmm. with with his reading ability and, and um, you know, that phase of, of learning that uh, it became very apparent quickly that, that he needed that um, ELLIPSE program. Mm -hmm. And that gave us and him the confidence that we could do something about his situation with reading. Mm -hmm. It was something that we learned that we didn't really know we that he needed right. until he went through it. And then all of a sudden, it seemed like some holes were filled in. Yeah, definitely. Sure. He started in the middle of third grade and we have fluctuated on uh, the, the timing of the tutoring that we've done. We've always been very consistent and I think that's the key as far as being successful and, and the key to Thomas' success is that he was very consistent. So sometimes we would go two times a week, sometimes he would be there three times a week. And a lot of that depended upon, you know, school, the, you know, the school load, but also um, baseball that season and football season, those were really important to him. And uh, Reading Success Plus worked really well with us as far as scheduling and, and allowing him to do the things that he loved, but also giving him the opportunity to continue, you know, it, it, made the reading, uh, tutoring a priority, but he could still do uh, his outside activities and, and balancing all of that, uh, reading Success Plus has been very helpful uh, in that regard. So Thomas has been in the program for around four years and uh, he started with the LIPS program and then he went into the Linda Mood Bell uh, books. That has well, been. the LIPS program is the Linda Mood Bell program, so he uh, did the phonics first. Right. That's it. Sorry, the name of the second one is uh, Barton Reading Barton, Barton yep. Reading Program. Right. So he, Thomas started with the LIPS program and then went into the Barton Reading Program, which has a series of uh, books that he's going through. And he's in the last book of it, so he's gone right through these programs. Yeah. <laughs> 
year that they've gone through with him. Um, certainly, you know, fun metal and critical to where we are today with Elvis. And one thing that we can point to, or of many things that we can point to with Reading Success Plus, is the relationship. everything that you're doing but to him it's just magic so. yeah I think with with um, reading success plus it was key or very helpful to have uh, different tutors there uh, different backgrounds and with Thomas uh, you know getting paired with the one he did uh, like my wife said you know they've become friends we've done things outside of work uh, together with him and with his family too mm -hmm. um, over the years and and uh, Get to have that kind of bond and, and to see an instructor who, who went through these things too when he was Thomas's age, I think has certainly helped out too. That has been a huge factor. I will completely agree with what you said about the fact that what you have with Reading Success Plus is a mother and son team who have been through this their whole lives from elementary school and, and what they've dealt with if you hear their story um, all the way on up to college and beyond um, you realize that they they've they've been in it they've been in the trenches they know what works and what doesn't work and that as a mother and you know as a family means a lot because here you have another family that's been through it, but they've they've just been they've gone on and they're ahead of you. But it helps you see the light at the end of the tunnel, um, and that's that's helped a lot because you really know that they can relate with the struggles that you're going through because they've been through all the same or similar struggles that you're dealing with. I would say if you had a struggling reader, um, just start. Um, you know, do your research. I mean, you can Google the Barton Reading Program and, and there's information out there that it works. Um, but I would say just start. <laughs> you know, you can certainly contact Reading Success Plus and they offer a basic screening and that's what we did to take a look at, um, you know, what we were missing. And um, like we said, you know, that helped us get started just you know the the screening that they'll do and the tools that they have available to them um, can help you you know on the road to making some decisions that you know could see conceivably um, you know change the child's life um, or certainly their future yeah i would say early intervention in a situation with dyslexia is is very important however it's never too late mm -hmm. so you know, we started at a, an age where I think it was, you know, good to recognize and see it. Some people don't see it till later, um, and I, it's not too late. I know there are older children and young adults in the program there, and, and I know they, they do well too. But I think as a parent, you know, um, the earlier you can do something about it and something, you know, meaningful and, and um, of substance, you know. Um, I don't think you can just 
start reading more books with your kid, you know, <laughs> you know it's not or, about or, that. or fix it on your own or, you know, I hate to say it, even just work with the school. We need to work with the school, but you can't rely on the school, uh, you know, unless you're sending your kid to a all dyslexic specific school. <laughs> But that's also something like doing a program like Reading Success Plus or some other therapies. And so I think as a, as a, as a parent, I would regret not doing yeah. something for my child. Yeah. I think you can't rely on the school system as it's set up today to recognize this. They just, they aren't capable. They haven't been trained through no fault of their own. They don't know what they're looking for. And um, so it's really up to you. And so as a parent, I think you have to listen to your gut. <laughs> if you know something's not quite right, don't wait for the system to tell you what to do. Um, start looking for opportunities or look for solutions or you know, look for a place like Reading Success Plus who can do the hard work for you in terms of putting your child through some basic tests to tell you, yes, they might be able to help you or maybe not, but at least it might help you get started. Just, nobody wants to see a child struggle. And as a parent, it's one of the worst feelings in the world to see your child you know, struggling and you just, you know, it, you pour your heart out because you want to help them and just looking for the place and finding the right place is just so helpful for the entire family because let's face it, if you have one person in your family that's struggling, everybody is struggling because it affects right. everybody. And so, you know, why yeah. wouldn't you you know, go to the ends of the earth to try to find help. Yeah, and, and one of the things I like about uh, Reading Success Plus, you know, I think if you check them out or you, you know, you research them, they have the expertise, they have the experience and background, you know, they know what they're doing, you know, from the side of, you know, working with children and, and, and people with, you know, these reading problems. But what I like is they also know how to run a business. And I think that's important because I trust that they're going to be here next year and the year after and that they're going to be organized and bring in and develop you know new new teachers and, or you know and if somebody leaves they can replace them you know in other words they're mm -hmm. they're good at the business side too which gives me comfort in working with them mm -hmm. i think you know to your point i think it it truly depends on your child's needs but what's really cool about the program is that it meets you or your child where they're at and you can go as slowly or as quickly as your child needs. And so if you have a child that's a quick learner, you might, you know, that child might speed on through the program very quickly. Um, or if they're a little bit more of a slow learner, that's okay too, but it might take a little bit longer. So setting those expectations up front, um, I think that's important. I think they, you know, I don't think anyone should come under the expectations that they could sign up for a summer program and have a transformed, you know, dyslexic by August. You know, it's not, no. it's not possible. Um, but I think the time and determination and consistency of the program is what's important and that's going to be up to you know what the deficiencies are and just how quickly that child moves through the program and I don't know that there's a way for um, reading success plus to predict that until you really get into the program and see what you know that child brings to the table and you know how quickly they can start moving through the program. I think, you know, if, if your child is struggling with reading, you know, I think it's important to to take the time and, and, and do the research to try to figure out what's going on. You know, maybe it's something basic or, or not too hard to address. If it's something like dyslexia, you're going to you're going to need to do something about it. You can't mm -hmm. just rely on others to help fix it. It's you have to take that on mm -hmm. and, and, and own that and advocate for your child um, and, and 
engage in meaningful, concrete steps. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for people that, you know, find it's not dyslexia, I'm sure there are programs that, that, uh, that are, you know, still applicable and maybe shorter term, you know, uh, if it's dyslexia, you know, from, at least from my understanding, you know, you need to take some intervention and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, invest in your child. Mm -hmm. And for us, Thomas's issues we found were twofold. You know, we had the vision disability and it was one of those things where we couldn't do one without doing the other. And so, you know, getting things corrected from a vision standpoint were huge, but we couldn't stop there because that wasn't going to fix the, you know, the problem or the issues, or that wasn't going to make him happy or all of a sudden start liking school. Um, we really had to come at, you know, his issues from, you know, identifying what the problems were and then addressing both of them, not just putting a Band-Aid on it, yeah. but getting to the root cause of both of them and then, you know, addressing them and putting in the work. Yeah. We're you. so happy for Thomas. Oh. Yeah. You know, he's thrilled. He'll tell you, if he could, he would be telling you right now just how much it's meant for his life and yeah. how it's changed and impacted his um, life for the better. And like we said earlier, he just thanks us all the time, which just is so sweet and is such a blessing to us because he's saying, thanks, mom and dad. Thanks for, yeah. you know, thanks signing for, me up for something. Thanks for signing <laughs> me up for something, you yeah. know, but it truly was or is a win for him and he recognizes it. And so that helps him be an advocate for himself. And I think it'll be a lifelong thing for him. This truly has changed the trajectory of his his life and his happiness and how he feels about himself so we're very pleased all right thanks Great. david yeah. thanks yep. for your time cool Appreciate i'll pass it. this along all right yeah. thanks again yep bye great rest of your day you right. too. connect with us to see how we can best help you become our next success story